Welcome to another episode of Riding and Wrenching, the biggest little YouTube channel on the entire interwebs. I am your host, Q the Rider, and in today's episode, we are going to go over episode two. I'm going to share with you episode two of three from my garage talk featuring Robert Simmons from YouTube channel Be the Boss of Your Motorcycle and Finesse the Challenger, both phenomenal YouTube content creators. Robert does slow speed uh, training and motorcycle reviews, equipment reviews, installs. Finesse the Challenger focuses on Indian motorcycle content. So if you have an Indian motorcycle and you're looking for a great source of content for Indian bikes, definitely check out Finesse, uh, Finesse's YouTube channel. I'll provide links to both of their channels in the description of this video. So on this episode, episode two of three, um, the topics we're going to cover here are we're going to talk about the rear of the bikes, the tail lights, the exhaust. We're going to talk about tour packs and saddle bags. Uh, and then we're going to have a very spirited conversation about uh, availability of accessories and the dealership network. That one's <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny to me. I, we, I had a great time uh, sitting down with these gentlemen uh, and talking in the garage, and it was an absolute blast. And then we'll wrap this video up with a uh, brief conversation about the difference between uh, the fixed bearing bikes like the Road Glide and the Challenger and Batwing style motorcycles. So we'll talk about that in a little bit as well. Before we jump into the video, I also want to mention uh, my Facebook group, 2023 Harley CBO. If you have a, a new CBO or you're just interested in learning more about them, my Facebook group is full of uh, active owners of the new bikes, sharing a lot of information about the new bikes, and it's a phenomenal group. It's no trolling. Uh, we've been pretty good at keeping the scammers out of there, so definitely come by and check us out. Now, if you want to financially support the channel, there's ways to do that, and the easiest way is to use my Amazon affiliate links. I have a number of Amazon affiliate links for a variety of motorcycle-related products, but even if you're just going to do some Christmas shopping or whatever, if you click on one of my Amazon affiliate links before buying something on Amazon, I'll still get a commission for it. I don't know who bought what. I don't, you know, I'm not, I don't get that information. I, we just get a small commission that costs you absolutely nothing. So it's a free way for you to support the channel and help keep things going. Now, I also have some non-motorcycle related content that I'm going to be posting in the com coming weeks, just different things that interest me that I want to share uh, with the community. Hopefully you'll like that, and I'll make sure that that's very clear in the title of the video as well as the thumbnails. But I also have some cool uh, motorcycle content coming out for my new CVO as well as my 22 Road Glide Limited, so stay tuned for all of that. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So I, think, right. we're, I think we're at the back end of the bike. Um, I will say the Harley looks better with their tail lights. I think that you know you can't see the LED bulbs it's just like it's a glowing light mm -hmm. the two C shapes back there that looks really good I don't like the saddlebags but it looks those tail lights look good mm -hmm. I don't like the saddlebags sitting completely on top of the exhaust mm -hmm. to me it, if they it, don't sit on the exhaust if it dropped down just a little bit not they didn't have to be those stretch bags cuz those stretch bags weren't functional but if it dipped below that line a little bit I think it would made the bags look better it just looks like they're sitting on top it looks weird. Oh, okay it looks weird yeah i i, I actually like the, the design change here you know I, I didn't i don't like stretch bags either yeah. uh, i like the fact that you know you have this very good looking exhaust on here so the shorter bags show the entire it. exhaust mm -hmm. and it looks better also got if you have nice looking wheels and i think the wheels on here are decent but again it's wheel look is subjective but yeah. you can see more of the wheel with a short bag compared to a stretch bag so yeah. i think there's some nice design choice because this doesn't have stretch bags does it no but they do the front of the bag the front of the saddle bag does dip below that line oh, just a okay. bit kind of kind of breaking it up so when i when i'm when i'm away from the bike looking at it the bike looks long and low okay like it just looks just and and the way the lines flow mm -hmm. throughout the bike it just makes it look just it, it looks to me it looks, looks like art um art 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 comes in all forms man it's not all good <laughs> <laughs> whereas when i when i looked at this there's so many curves straights 
and rounded and sharp. Like I don't aesthetically in my mind, it just doesn't it doesn't play together. I guess mm-hmm. as an overall scheme, you know, there's just a mix of ideas going on. Um, I don't love the bags on on the uh, Indian. I yeah. don't like the fact that they're before you get to the back, they actually go up. Like I don't know, it just the, the front I, end of it. Yeah, I just don't like the way it looks. I prefer it to just be straight. Now the bags on on the CBO initially when I first saw it, I didn't like it. But again, I said that because it was something different than what I was accustomed yeah. to seeing. But the fact that the bags go like this in the back, I like that. It's not in other in other words, they put thought into it. It's not just a box, right? It's I think it, I think it looks good. Now I like stretch bags, and that's why I looked at this and said, "Man, eh, because I'm accustomed to seeing um, the bags that aren't stretched on a limited, mm-hmm. and that's it. And this is not a limited. Uh, but if, if I'm looking at both and I'm saying which one do I like better, it's going to be the ones on the CBO. But that being said, you can get used to anything. So the more I look at these bags, I can accept the fact that they are because I, I look at them as a whole." Mm-hmm. And if I look at the bike from the profile, I kind of want to stop before I get to the bags. Yeah. Exhaust. Are we even going to waste our time talking about the exhaust? There's no way that this exhaust stock is better is, is better than the CBO's exhaust. No way. Looks, sounds, period. I don't like the way the exhaust looks on that at all with it. It's already, instead of it being flat, it's like this. And I already don't like exhaust that's facing like this. I like it to be like this because the bags are like this. Right? Yeah. So either like this or straight. Not like this, but that's a... That's I mean, a, as, as far as the looks, subjective. I think the exhaust for either bike, look, it fits the aesthetic of the bike. Yeah, screw that. Which one looks better? <laughs> <That one. laughs> now, now, if we were talking about... Period. If we were talking about the, the, the Whiskey Neat version of this with the chrome versus this black chrome, black chrome all day. You know what I mean? I, the regular chrome to me is just. Uh, even if this was well, you're not a chrome guy. No, I'm not. So oh, it's not a chrome. Okay. But okay. even if this was black, it would look better than this, just because of the way that looks. And again, mm. and it's 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 a very thin bezel. Mm. It's you know this is at least the cap one. This is like a separate piece. This is all one piece. Right. Uh, to me, this is just like a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. For me, the uh, I'm curious to see the long-term durability of this black chrome because I think this would have looked just as good just with a gloss black yeah. personally um, or even a flat black for that matter oh, no. because with flat black I'd have huh? on a CBO yeah but it, well I just want to see the durability yeah you know I mean the, this uh, black chrome's been out for a couple of years they put this on uh, the CBOs two years ago the 22 20. no, it's a different kind of chrome though it's not but that it's same still the, it may not be the same kind yeah, but it's yeah. a, it's may not be the same color, but it's the same... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just color. chrome. Now, yeah, it's not just chrome. Now, if we're not... talking about the, the engine and all that, the Indian a motorcycle engine looks way better than that. Agreed. It's beautiful. It's like a, it's like a piece of art. Yeah. And I've always said that. And, and you know, and this, this color just made it This uh, 1901, that cap that's on there, mm-hmm. if you take it off, 1901 is stamped into the actual... Oh, this? Yeah. 1901 is stamped into that actual housing. You know how Eric was talking about if you take off... Yeah something here but it's the same thing with that i don't know why they put this on there mm-hmm. but behind that it's stamped 1901 so. hmm. let's take it apart no. <laughs> <laughs> you always the wrong person yeah. <laughs> let's talk about the tour packs tour packs so both well if we're comparing the challenger neither one of them come with it but oh, since so you have even, since you have it. one oh just not talking about it yeah <laughs> <laughs> they don't come with it so what's the point <laughs> Well, I will say, okay, so uh, the tour packs that do come with the Pursuit version of the Elite, they could have done better because the inside is just a generic whatever uh, uh, cover or something. I don't know. I would have liked to have it uh, like quilted like the seats. That, I think that would have been over oh, yeah, I don't like the way these open. Oh. Huh? I don't like the way they open. Yeah, they open like a car. Crazy about that yeah. Because if you have a passenger back there and like, oh, I got to get something out of the tour pack, get off the bike so or I can luggage. get the tour pack. Yeah. Or luggage. Yeah, this right. one, I can have my luggage here. I can still open my tour pack because it opens away. Right. Now, if I'm on the side of the road, I don't have anything hanging off on the side. To me, to me, really and truly, I don't really 
it doesn't matter to me one way or the other. Yeah. If you if you have somebody on the back of any motorcycle though, the right the passenger will have to move up or get off. They gotta get off. They can't they get off. Either way, either yeah. way, yeah, you get up or get or get off or whatever. I get it, but to yeah. me, I'm not. You know, I don't have to. It doesn't have to lean off the side of the bike or you know. It's just. It's, it's just there. more functional. It's there. Yeah. yeah it, it's it's more functional. The. Uh, um, it looks better too. It's a wider, lower stance. Which was was that? The, the Harley Davidson King Tour Pack, whereas this one it's almost like a, like a European look. It's narrower and yeah. higher, which to me takes away from the looks of the bike. If so you, just a tad wider and a tad lower, mm -hmm. um, and you would think it would be more space in it because it's higher and it's not. Yeah. And oh, I really? think this applies to both. I don't think either of those tour packs really match the bike. Like like really match the bike. Because this bike is this bike's not made to have one, and it, it looks like it's just on there. Like, it looks like you bought an aftermarket tour pack and just put it on. What do you mean it's not made to have one? Sure it is. No, it didn't come. All that, the tour bikes are no, made I'm to have. No, saying it didn't come that way. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's not made for that. So like when you when you this particular one, even though it's for the bike, to me it just looks like it's a generic tour pack. It's the same way that that one is like a generic tour pack. It wasn't I think it looks specifically. Fine. No, the reason you're thinking that this one looks generic is because it doesn't have any speaker pods, so it's the areas are not filled, right. and that's what makes it look like it's just placed on there, which even, it is. Even on the ones, I, I just, I just think aesthetically. So you don't like tour packs? No, I, I love tour packs. Man, yeah. ain't nobody tell me about tour pack life. <laughs> <laughs> I really like them. I just think they should have, both of them, should have did a little bit more for each of the bikes because. This I don't I don't like the the connection the the the, the rail system or whatever. Yeah, well that's a quick and disconnect. And this one is the same thing that's on the Roadmaster and everything else. So. Oh, this is quick. You can take this off. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, the, the, which the, is a plus. Yeah. yeah. Because if you buy a limited model, and we're not talking about that, a limited CVO, that's it's on there. It's yeah. On there. I mean, you could take it off, but that's some work. Yeah, it is. That's some work. And I don't like the fact that I can't get. Smoked lenses for the rear of the bike. You can't. What? Oh, we got to talk about that too. No aftermarket. Oh, wait, it's only talk about that. Oh, that's well, right. no. Yeah. Okay, yeah. no. We, we, <laughs> that's it. No, we can talk about aftermarket because this this comes up all the time. But I mean, you, if you sure you want to talk about it, if you got a, if you got a cat, same, no, you're in the same boat. Look, if I have you, another Harley. <laughs> look, if you got talking about these. if you've got a catalog this thick, you're gonna pick three manufacturers out of it. And you're not going anywhere else because they're what you like or they're the best, right? So it doesn't matter if you got 800. If you're going to go with a, a saddleman seat and that's all you're doing, who cares if they make a, you know, uh -huh. Tommy uh -huh. Lane no, seat? No, no, that don't matter. No, no, this is a horrible no, argument. True. You say it all that's the time. That's a horrible argument. argument. Yeah, it I have choices. I could go with a saddleman seat. Can you get I a backrest for the Harley seat. Yeah. There's a backrest for this seat. As it sits right now. Oh, I don't know. No, there is. You can get one for that. Sure, they don't, sure, they don't match. There is. Is it? There, there is. Where, mm -hmm. Why did you have? I don't know. There's lots of things I don't have right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you order it? I don't know. Is it back so. order? I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't Probably know. Probably not. But at the end of the day, it's this. This. <laughs> <laughs> this is when I feel sorry for him yeah. because he's trying to fight a he's fight. He's trying to find something win. that you no, can't win. Harley has way more aftermarket. There you go. And there's Absolutely. It's in the store. Yeah. Period. There's, there's Next. Like, right. <laughs> but if you're telling me 99% of the aftermarket is just some cheap stuff and you're only going to use 2%, then what difference does it make? 99% is cheap stuff. No, I'm just saying, for instance. No, but that's not, that's just a faulty argument. Yeah. You're yeah. not going to win this one, sir. How many, how many, just how let many, go, man. what exhaust yeah. are you getting for your bike? I have no idea. You don't know? Nope. What is I'm having? leaning towards tab. You know, I'm waiting to see. If and the if tab it gets tab, you can out. get 50 calibers. You can't. Okay. You can't get 50 calibers. It still sounds. No, they won't Why? get the bike. They just. Oh, they're too big. We're celebrating. They got four and a half. They just got that. But <laughs> oh, they're too big. No, it's the way they the bags are designed. Because the, the the saddlebags. Oh, okay. Sit on, sit on the, the muffler. Okay. Yeah. Does it make so. your Does it melt your stuff? Nope. Hmm. At the end of the day, like this is futile. I mean, it's not even close. Yeah, it's like talking about the dealership. Because even if we talk about. Even if we talk about one company, you're still going to have more choices with the Harley Davidson okay. than the Indian. I've never seen two okay. Indian motorcycles in my entire time. Nor have I. Video. They're so rare. <laughs> Look, I've, never seen, them finish. I've never seen two Indian motorcycles. Nor have I. We agree. All my travels. I agree. That look the same. 
Now he all, said, unless they're brand new. You've said this. You've said this before. Yeah. And I don't understand. Where are you looking? Are you I've looking? seen plenty of Indian motorcycles that look the same. No, there's no accessories. Looking. No, no. So when I when I went to the Jack Daniels event up in Tennessee, uh-huh. mm-hmm. hundreds of bikes, mm-hmm. hundreds of bikes. Mm-hmm. They're hundreds. All, they're all different. Wow, hundreds. All different. <laughs> hundreds? That's cute. How many, okay, that's all right. Cute? Now, you, you were at the 120th this, this for Harley. Is, uh, <laughs> Wait, let's just pick the museum. Mm-hmm. So we're not going to talk about all the dealerships and all the other okay. places where there are bikes. Okay. How many bikes do you think you saw at the museum? Hundreds. Only hundreds? Well, it's thousands, but I want to say hundreds. We just got to put, you know. It was, it's, and I got news for you. A bunch of them don't look the same. I keep saying that. I don't understand what that means because... I've seen plenty of Indian motorcycles that look the same because not everybody customizes their bikes. Oh, that's true. But with Harley Davidson, because you have more options to do so, everybody you're going to see way more variety. Uh, variety. Mm-hmm. Plus, you're going to see more Harley's. Period. Well, I'm just saying, of the people that do customize, I, have, I haven't seen two bikes that are the same. Now, again, if, if it's if it's stock bikes, it doesn't matter what bike it is. They're going to look the same, obviously. Mm-hmm. But when people are modding the bikes or changing the bikes, I still haven't seen any that look the same. So to say that there's, it's so small, it's not that it's so small. What's so it's small? It's just that it's less than what Harley is offering, which there's no denying that. It's you know they've been they've been selling for longer. He fights a good fight, man. I gotta so, tell you. Well, I so so even when it's pointless, you know, <laughs> go keep going. Fight no, to the death. I mean, I'm just saying. I, you know, if if that was the case, if there was only one style of handlebars or one exhaust or one this or that, everybody would have the same. I keep thing. saying if right. they don't. So well, if, they're yeah. reality, so. right? But and, and re- in reality, there's not. There's more. What two? There's more than just the few. Two. Nah, I can Three. Tell you. I can tell you. I I, I tell you. So <laughs> I'm being mean. I'm we're sorry. Talking, I'm a good if guy. We're talking philosophy, right? The whole idea behind the motorcycle is to be different. Yeah, that's true. If everybody's riding a Harley, nobody's different. So the real mm-hmm. people that are groundbreaking are the people that move away from that. Indian motorcycle being uh, that's different. A, that's a damn shame. Uh, I feel so bad for them. I feel so bad for them because the if you pick a Harley, you have more options to make it different. <laughs> nah. You don't have to buy a whole other brand to be different. Nah. There's other people out there like you do. No. More people. Yeah. No, it's... It, okay, I'm well, I, no, anyway, so I, I'll put it this way. I'll put it this way. Harley is not marketing themselves for somebody like me, right? I don't, I don't want to have to go buy a bike for whatever, however amount of money, whether it's 10 grand or 50, mm-hmm. and immediately go into changing things. I should be able to ride the bike as is for as long as I want and be comfortable mm-hmm. for me, yeah. right? Harley does not offer that mm-hmm. in any form. Mm-hmm. I haven't been on that Pan America, so I don't know. Everybody says it's great. But I didn't like it. Everybody, you know, so, so, so they're not marketing themselves towards me because. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for something that looks that looks 2023, looks 2024. I don't like the retro. Thing. So you should be riding the gold wing. So I, oh man, that gosh. looks like three thousand. Yeah, you should be riding oh the gold wing. Oh my god, gold wings out that box. The you don't beat, have to change yep. anything, and just like can't change nothing. <laughs> just like an Indian, very limited in what you can change. So it's perfect. Uh, on the BMW, American V twin. Yeah. American yeah. V twin. Mm-hmm. So, like when I was doing when I was doing my research, I've ridden countless Harley Davidsons. They just they like I said, man, they're not marketing to somebody like me. So that's that's where it comes in to be kind of biased because that style is just not my style. I, I can appreciate I like it. we're strained. We were talking well, about yeah. aftermarket. We were. We're yeah, well, we were. Yeah, we had to take that. I know stuff. it's you know, over. We're done now. Yeah, we're done now. We said we were done when we started. I'm just were fighting the fight. I'm just giving a disclaimer. I'm just giving a disclaimer. But um, I just man, it just it it really just feels old. It really does, man. It, I, I can't get around. I was I was really expecting that these to be groundbreaking and and this that and the other, but they got the same frame. And it's the same bike. It's just a different fairing. Oh, I'm so... No, it's not just a different fairing. Everything on this bike is different Everything. except the... No, 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 no. I'm talking about the, the road glide and street glide. I'm sorry. The road glide and the street oh, glide. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The difference is the fairing. But I will say that tray on the street glide, that is the, that's the best thing of 2023. Of speaking, any of the, speaking of the frame. Now we're going to start talking about conveniences and inconveniences. What is this plate right here? Why is this going One across? deflector. To me, that just looks... It's a wind deflector. It looks horrible. Yeah. I don't, like, I don't like looking at it. Don't look at it. It, it should be like ahead and now. It should be straight ahead. 
Why are you looking at that? Oh. One deflector. And if it's functional, anyway. you know. Yeah, not bad. I'm sorry. Frame. Frame. Now, Harley Davidson clearly, thank God they kept the frame because I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they did this upgrade of the frame when now something as simple as jacking up your motorcycle is a task it, that most people won't choose to go down that road using this two by fours modifications. So I jacked this two bike up yesterday. Four. Yeah, somebody said you have to use like a two by four to do something. It's, it's a bunch of people that's going to tell you, oh, I have a way you can do this. <laughs> so you have to be MacGyver to lift this bike up when really I just want to, I lift my motorcycles up and I lift them all the way up on my jack. Right. And I want to be able to do it so I can simply clean the wheels, clean the side of the bike, nice and easy. People like Q changes the oil, right. nice and easy. This bike, I did find some place to lift it, and when I lifted it, it's not stable. So that's why anybody will tell you, oh yeah, I lift up the bike, but you gotta you know, make sure you strap it down and all this other stuff. It's it's just it's too involved, all right. right? So I'm not saying it's impossible to do. I just don't want to have to do it. So I jacked my bike up using the Let's Roll Jack mm -hmm. that I got from you. And had no problems. I put it under there, lifted it up, put it on the thing. So how did you lift it? I put it on the jack and rolled it around. That's not a jack. That's a dolly. That well, takes the, the bike off the ground two inches. I, I'm talking about a motorcycle jack. That's I, what I want. I hear what you're saying. All I'm saying is I picked it up, I put it on that dolly, mm -hmm. and I moved it around. I had no issues. Okay. So, again, I feel bad for you because what I, my argument was I want to lift the bike all the way up so that I can easily clean the wheels while sitting in my roller chair and it's at my level. Okay. I'm 51 years old. I don't stretch. <laughs> so I don't want to be doing none of this. And if you put it on the Let's Roll Dolly and want to clean the wheels, yeah, you're still going to be doing this. And for so certain things, like putting air in the back tire, last night, I move it up, get on the ground. Yeah. Move it up, get on the ground. Whereas if I could just jack it up, in neutral, I could just move the wheel. So I don't have a jack, so I can't really speak to it. That's because all they don't I know, work on That's because bike. you don't. Exactly. They, they all I know is I jacked it up before, and I haven't had an issue. Mm -hmm. We got the same bike, so I got you. I understand. So at the end saying? of the day, it's one thing to say. Well, nobody is saying it's impossible. Okay. I, I've explained that the issue is you have to make sure you have that jack just right, which can still damage the motorcycle, according to Indian Motorcycle. They they told me do not jack this motorcycle up. So if the manufacturer is telling you not to do something they and you do still it. do it, right. and something goes wrong, that's on you. But the point. The point that it's that they're telling me not to do it, that's a problem. Um, and it's a, it's a big problem to me. It's inconvenient. It's because it's something I'm accustomed to doing. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about that? And you, this is riding. Oh, that budget. would be, uh, that, that, that's a, that's a non-starter for me. If I yeah. can't work on my own bike, and I'm sure you can work on it, but yeah, yeah I need to down. be able to lift it up. Yeah. And it's so easy to work on Harleys. It's, it's yeah. slide it under, slide it under, lift it up. You know, it ain't going nowhere. Yeah, it's not. It's not moving. Mm. Yeah, so that uh, unless it's on a kickstand, then it's moving. Hmm? Hmm? That kickstand is crazy. I hate that kickstand. Harley's oh. kickstand. Oh, how, how did we forget about the I don't kickstand? Know, I, I don't know. I forgot about that. But the Harley kickstand to me is no. That's a, that's that's just crazy. The, the Indian kickstand reigns supreme in my opinion. I love the kickstand on this motorcycle because when you put the kickstand down, like the kickstand just goes down. So if I put it up. You hear that? You hear that? If I put it up, it's up. When I put it down, so that spring is that spring is aggressive, and I don't need a kickstand coaster on my driveway because there's rubber on the bottom of the kickstand, so it's not going to scrape up the concrete. So, yeah, well, there's two two points that it's not a whole lot of argument for us. The dealerships and the accessories. Are you recording? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 not a fair fight. So, I mean, just comparing one bike to the other, I don't know if there's a whole lot more. I mean, I, 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 I enjoyed riding the bike today because uh, when I hopped on it, you know, at the parking lot, you know, I immediately felt comfortable. Yeah. So I just started dipping around. I'm doing some turns. I scraped, I scraped the floorboards a little bit, which was butter smooth, yes. which was shocking because this one, I scraped the floorboards on this. It sounds like I'm tearing a building down yeah, or something. Yeah. <laughs> Awful. It's this one, I was like, oh, well, this one, I was like, man, did I scrape the floorboards? So I backed off a little bit. Wasn't doing it on purpose, but um, I felt comfortable. Yeah. You know, I mean, so to me, you know, it's a solid bike. I don't have any issues with it. You know, uh, you know, the only issues for me is getting this, uh, the, the lack of the dealer network for Indian for long distance riding. I, I prefer to have that dealer network there. Um, I think Harley does customer service as a whole 
all dealers aren't equal, but yeah. as a whole, they do customer service better than anybody, yeah. any car company, any transportation company, period. Harley has it dialed in in terms of taking care of their riders. So um, I, I think that is, if you're going to go, I guess, in a generalization, I mean, that's fine, but I mean, I've had better, I've had better experiences at Indian dealerships than I've had at Harley dealerships. Yeah. Me personally. Just not so, enough of them. Yeah. Well, what does that mean? Well, how you're many, talking about you're talking about Harley experiences. Did you have? You're talking about the customer service part of it. So I've been I've been to quite a few Harley Davidson dealerships. I've been to quite a few Indian motorcycle dealerships, in the state, out of the state, across the country, um, and I've 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 felt more welcomed at Indian motorcycle dealerships even before the ambas- ambassadorship, mm-hmm. um, and. The level of interaction that they do, not only with social media people, but with the community as well. And then, like, you walk into those stores, man, it's just, it's, it's, it's just great. And I'm sure you've had the same experiences with Harley Davidson. So. Well, hold on. I just want to make sure we're clear. He's saying they take care of their customers. Not people just walking in the store. He's talking about, you have an issue with your motorcycle? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, yeah. They're going to take care of you. That's not something you experience because you don't have a Harley Davidson. Oh, right, 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 right. right. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. I, but the same thing with the Indian motorcycle. I've been taken care of since day one. You want when I when I purchased my bike. Yeah, but you go to one dealership, they're gonna take care. Of. He's talking about if you're on the road. Yeah, and you have Long an issue. Right? I haven't been on the road with an issue. That's my yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, the, the thing. I mean, it doesn't have to be an issue. You could have a flat tire. Right. That's an issue. Uh, Indian doesn't make them tires. What, what, what kind of tires do you have? Metzler. 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 Okay. Um, run over nail. Yeah. That mess was gonna go flat. Yeah. It's just going to. Okay. And if you're in Memphis, right. you got problems. You got problems because your closest dealer is 200 miles away. Okay. And there aren't a lot of options. You either go 200 miles west, 200 miles east. And if it happens to be on a day when they're both closed, you're screwed. I mean, it's get a motorcycle hotel. tire. You can just put a motorcycle tire on. Who's going to do it? Any what shop are you going to take shop. it to? Any motorcycle shop. Why would you have to take it specifically to India? Or yeah. to Harley Davidson? Because in his defense, he's spoiled. Being able to go to Harley, and if they'll come get them and bring the motorcycle, they'll come there. and pick you up. Right. Okay. Will, I mean, That's technically. Right. I mean, I, I haven't had that. I don't know. I can tell you, but. but this would be my advice. Yeah, yeah. If you're on a road somewhere, a flat tire, call a Harley dealer. Because <laughs> no, they mean, might if, do if, it. If, if they're the. Closest. I called a Harley dealer when I with my Honda. Right. Because the, the the Honda dealer wasn't stepping up, and I'm like, right. well, there's a Harley and dealer. I, Let me at least try him. Right. And they were like, well, do you want us to come and pick you up? I'm like, in my Honda? They're like, yeah, you're right. Let's come get you. I'm telling so you, Harley's in, got customer in, service nail, and right. I work for a car company. Right. So in your area, that's the way it is. I would I would almost venture to say here, uh, customer service at our Indian dealership here is... I'm talking anywhere. Right, right. But you, you just use yours as, a, as an example. I wasn't in Memphis. So I was in right. Illinois when that happened. I was in downstate Illinois. Right. Middle I, of nowhere. But, but, but to me, that's irrelevant because oh, if, I'm, if I'm anywhere... If I'm near an Indian dealer, I'll call them. If I'm near a Harley dealer, I'll call them. If I'm yeah. near a Kawasaki dealer, I'll call them. It's just yeah. a tire. Well, no, that's not true. That's not <laughs> true. Well, that was one example. But the point is, you have the option to call whoever you the want. manufacturer that made your motorcycle. That's the point. Yeah. So again, we're talking about options. It's like yeah. when you know your corner, you move the goalpost. He's saying no. that the advantage is right. you have a bigger network for that thing. And they say, well, no, you... Call the local shop. You can no, call the, dealer, local you, shop. the dealer network. Find a local shop open on a Sunday afternoon. Right. The you can network find Harley all... Davidson dealers open on Sunday everywhere, and their service departments are open. Right. They're open when the dealerships are open. Right. And I'm telling you, yeah. if you have a Harley and you're traveling through, all those dealers have um, uh, uh, programs set up for to taking care of riders that are passing through mm-hmm. town. Right. Because if you schedule your bike. Actually, if you don't have to schedule your bike, if you're riding through Memphis on a Harley and like, oh man, you know, nailing my tire, or maybe you had something happen to it, and call a local dealer, where are you at? For every person <laughs> that's had a up. great experience, there's another person that's No, there's that not. Experience. No, dude. No. Now, you're watering down there. There's a I'm huge not, difference there. I'm not, but what are, okay, the, the, <laughs> Indian, the, the Harley Davidson dealership network is larger. There's no doubt. Okay. Yeah. When, we're talking about customer, when we're talking about customer service, mm-hmm. that's, that's, that can be varied. It depends on who you talk to and where you're at. Mm. It doesn't. It doesn't matter for any dealership. So, if you're saying your experience with the company has been great, okay, 
my experience with the Indian Motorcycle Company has been great as well. I've had just as many great stories throughout my time owning the bike as you've had owning yours. So uh, The difference is my Road Glide has 85,000 miles on it. I've been all over the place, and I'm telling you that Harley Davidson, mm -hmm. and I don't work for Harley. I am not a Harley ambassador, right. and I will criticize Harley. Uh, uh, I have criti I've criticized this bike and criticized it tonight. Um, but Harley Davidson, customer service, hands down. I would challenge you to find any transportation company that can hang with Harley in terms of how they take care of their customers. Nobody is like that. If you, so to, uh, tomorrow is Sunday, go ride around in, in, in your Lexus and break down and call a local Lexus dealer, ask them if their service department's open. Oh, well, Indian here's closed tomorrow. Oh, they're closed on Sunday? Oh, he's open. So, so but that, that's my point. So if right. you're not open, right. how are they going to help me? So, so if you get a nail on your tire tomorrow. He's going to take it someplace to theory, told you. Oh, he's going to take it to, a, to a, a random shop, tire just shop. Just a tire. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. No, yeah, dude, that's, I'm telling you, you haven't experienced it yet. Right. Break break right. down and then tell Hold me up. about it. Right. Didn't you just have an in, you just had an incident with a tire? Oh, yeah. Didn't a regular shop change the tire for you? Yeah, oh, yeah, it was a guy right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There we go. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that can happen. Yeah. But I'm just saying that the dealership network with Harley is yeah. so broad and yeah. so wide, and it's they are set company. up to take care of their customers. I'm telling you, it's my experience second to none. with Harley Davidson has not been your experience. Okay. I didn't have the great experience that you're talking about with customer service. With but you don't own a Harley. Did you own a Harley? When I was when I was gonna buy a Harley. Yeah. Right. I was going there. That's different. That's Everything's going to be great when you're trying to buy it. Yeah. No, it wasn't. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So my experience with the, 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 the brand was not a good experience, which is also what took me away from them because I was like, you know, you know, you don't, they don't treat you any kind of special. When I first walked through the doors at Indian Motorcycle, that was the complete opposite of that. So that's what I'm saying. It depends on how you, I mean, you, you talk about personal exchanges and all this and other. Somebody can have a great experience, and I'm not denying that you did, but somebody else can come right behind you and have a bad experience. If you're talking about dealer network, of course. You guys have way more well, it's not dealerships. Me. It's, it's them. Right. You as <laughs> I an don't owner, have a dealer network. No, you as an owner yeah. I think that's have what he's way talking more about. options. Yeah. That's what he's talking about because right. these, these experiences that, that you're talking about, they really don't matter because they're not, it's not – he's talking about – you're talking about customer service as you walk into a dealership to possibly buy a motorcycle. Because if we talk about that, Wood Jr. bought a Harley because when he walked in the Indian, he didn't like the experience that he got. Right. So he's talking about once you own one already mm -hmm. and needing something, you're going to have way more, again, just like with the accessories, options. Op options are always a good thing. So in that, if we're going to talk about that, that's indisputable. We're, we're comparing a, a Goliath mm -hmm. to... You know, right. We can't expect this company to do as much as this company. And when I had issues with my bike, I was taken care of fantastically. I, 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 I didn't worry at all. I didn't have to call the dealership because they called me. None, none of, I had no issues whatsoever. Dropping my bike off. They're picking my bike up. They're getting my bike ready, whatever the case may be. My experience is the same as your experience from what, the way you've been talking about it. So that's what I'm saying. It, it depends <laughs> on what you... <laughs> His experience wasn't the point. He used it as an example of the point. Okay, so we're not talking about experience. If we're just talking about the dealer network, yes, you guys have more. Yeah, hands down. Yeah, yeah hands down. And there, there's there's yes. a huge value to that. You can't um, downplay how valuable that is. Yeah. You know, and I'm not saying, I mean, I'm sure Indian dealers are fine. The handful that I've been in, mm -hmm. I've had no problems with Indian dealers. I want to say there's like 200. Just don't ask for water. <laughs> charge you. How, how much is the water there? 50 cents. Oh, it's 50 cents. Can I get some water? Yeah. India? Free. So no, I can I pour it on my leg that was set on fire? I think, <laughs> I think there was like, I think there was like 200 something dealers. Is there? Okay. Ish. Yeah, I think Harley probably has 200 dealers in Florida. <laughs> and at the end of the day, yeah. um, my opinion on the whole thing, forget about a point system. Even yeah. if this motorcycle in tonight's conversation won every point, it doesn't matter. I agree. It just doesn't matter because this is still the number one selling motorcycle. It doesn't matter what this has, what this doesn't have. It's still the number one selling motorcycle. This ain't catching up. You know, it doesn't with, have to. With that be, of course it doesn't have to. Yes. But, well, actually, it does. If they're going to be a competitor, at the end of the day, nobody wants to be number, I'm just going to say number two. I don't know what number they are. Right. But nobody is happy 
being number two. Right. You want to be number one. Right. Um, so, I, and I said this before, this is why this motorcycle has to offer some things that this one doesn't. Because something has to be appealing about this that makes somebody say, you know what? I'm not going to get that. I'm going to get this. And at the end of the day, a lot of the things, this is way better. There's a lot of different reasons. doesn't matter. I've said this before. It's not about what's, what's better. It's about what's most appealing to the person buying it. And, and that's why I'm, I'm told you I'm going to do a video about that because then we got to dig into why that is the way it is. There's so many different variables. Right. You know, so many different. A lot of it, in my opinion, is just, this is just what you see most. So it's going to be appealing to people. Sometimes if everybody in, like, in your family has it. It's, you grew up around it, so you're going to be drawn to it. Yeah. People get on one of these motorcycles and ride it, and some of them only don't even want to get on it. Like, it's just a ridiculous thing. Um, and some that will ride it, well, it's killing them to say, wow, this feels good. A lot of them, they they could put their hand on the Bible and pass a polygraph and say, I don't like the way it feels at all. It doesn't mean that it doesn't feel good. It just feels different. Right. Yeah. So, but again, different is not always bad. And in the case of this motorcycle, she's staying here, man. I mean, um, I like everything about it. But the beauty is I don't have to choose one or the other. Right. So I can live in both worlds. Right. This is going to give me some things that isn't and vice versa. Yeah. And depending on how I want to ride. So I started to say earlier when he said, I'm going to tell you what I didn't like about this bike. I know it was killing him to mm. not make that turn that I made. He had to go the peasant's route with the rest <laughs> of you <laughs> Well, man. That's uh, not where he lives. Look, that, it's not his bike either. No, he wasn't going to do that. Right. I've done that same turn but on his other bike. I, I understand. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> exactly. Because I, I was on Violet and, and, and old, uh, well. I, so, okay, I, I, if I, I put you on my bike, <laughs> not this, but a Holly, you would have made that turn. So check it, right? So when, when I first got this and I was trying to do the 18-foot U-turn, right? You would, you know, I don't know if it was you. But there were, there were people that would tell me, there's like, there's no way that bike's going to do the 18-foot U-turn. And, and me, I know it's going to do it. It's just I'm not at that level. I'm not accustomed to it. Just like when I was on, the, on, on your street, uh, Road Glide, there are things that I'm not going to do. It's not my bike. Right? What? Oh, yeah, but you were on my Road King. Same thing. Yeah, the Road King. You yeah. got on my Road King, never rode it before. Yeah. You went in that snowman? Okay. Well, that's not that's oh, your yeah. practice bike. You doesn't, matter. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's still my bike. It's not your however much that was. It doesn't matter. One man. of a, you know what I'm saying? Either either way, what I'm saying is though is it's not it's not necessarily the bike all the time. Sometimes it's the person. No, no, it's the bike. It's, it's the, longer for sure. And the, and the handlebars don't turn as much. And the handlebars don't turn yeah, as much. So those you don't think they turn as much? They definitely don't. Oh yeah. Oh, of course I, not. I have no idea oh. what the turn is. Of course is. not. Hmm. So I'm 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 gonna do a video on this too. I'm gonna just put it on the line, turn the handlebars all the way, and just walk. Oh. It, right. Okay. It. In other words, it's when I'm moving the bike, it's in the garage to move it. Yeah. That's why when I first tried to make a turn, I said bam because I'm used to it turning more. Right. So it definitely turns less. Can you make an 18 foot? I was talking to him about this today. You can. Yeah. But I have to commit to the lean right away and throw it all the way over. Right. So uh, that's not a that's not a shot against it because again, that's not necessary. It's not that's necessary right. to make an eighteen foot U turn. But if that's the way you're accustomed to riding, again, this is first world problems. Yep. Right. Most people are not doing that anyway, even on a Harley, because he's accustomed to doing that. And Mike, just like uh, Andy, any chance he gets, mm. he's making U turns. Yeah. Oh yeah. Always doing it because it's just. That's the way he rides now. It's, it's fun, right? It is fun. It's so fun. when he gets on this, that's why when I was out in California, California, no, in Texas, and uh, a BI preloader, he had a Challenger, and he kept trying to make 18 foot U turns, and he kept dropping the bike, oh, and then wow. he just got off the bike and walked away. He said, "I'm getting my." Ro I didn't know he had a road glide before that. He's thinking he can do the same thing on the road glide as that. So that's why I was frustrating him. If you accept the fact that you're not going to be able to do the same kind of turns. When this bike and just ride this bike for what it is. No well, problem. see, for me, this is a phenomenal touring bike. Yeah. And that longer wheelbase, while it uh, reduces the maneuverability, mm -hmm. it increases the comfort. Yes, so I think is. that's part of the reason why the bike might be a little bit smoother because of the longer wheelbase. Yeah. You just can't do a tight no, no, turn. No, no, no. I can there's, go a 16 no foot turn on here. There's no mic. Okay, well, I mean, it is. I mean, I'm. <laughs> yeah. It's incredible credits, too. I mean, but there's. You know, there's those design compromises that you make, so they design or they decide to go on a longer bike to make it more comfortable for touring. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a touring motorcycle. That's what it's supposed to do. What does that say? Give and take. 
And that's what I put in my notes. It's a give and take. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, it okay gives you some it. things and takes some things away. And right. that's why yep. I say, if you can own both, get both. That's why I say that, right, because right. it's give and take. This, I, I wish I can, well, I could, I say, Q, just take this bike home. Ride that bike back home. And, um, and just tell me your thoughts. But again, it's, I'm not, just to feel it out. Obviously, you're going to compare it to that right. or Ida Lee because that's what you're accustomed to. Right. But really, it's more it's more relatable to Ida Lee than it is to this, just because it's. Oh, I would love to do that. And next time, maybe I'll bring Ida Lee with me next time. But um, yeah, I would love to take one of these bikes on a long distance ride because I want to see uh, if it lives up to what my expectations are mm -hmm. as a long distance cruiser. Because I think it'll be phenomenal, to be honest yeah, with you. So do I. Uh, just with the longer wheelbase. Now, if I I'm going to come up to on some narrow street. I don't want to pop a U-turn. I'm gonna like I don't know about that. <laughs> well, here's the I'll thing: look for a way out. The street that I took you, this bike, the street boom, that I took you guys down today, dive. is yep. abnormally narrow. Yep. Like after that's the, the street I did that video on, and I thought it was hey, it's a county, country road, 24 feet. I measured it; it's like 17 feet 10 inches, so it's wow. less than 18 feet. Yep. So, and when I make the U-turn, I purposely make it there because. It's like a little cliff. Mm -hmm. So if you don't make it, you're going into that ditch. Oh. Yeah, because it's funny because the first time you did that to me, I was on, on, on Violet. And I saw him do that U-turn. I'm like, I want a jerk. I'm like, yeah. okay. You did it. I did it. I'm like, I knew I could do it. There was no doubt in my mind. I wasn't worried about it, even though I was on his bike. I'm like, I'm not dropping the bike. So, be fine. So, so I actually have on this bike, the I means have to, yeah. get, yeah. to get both if I so choose, right? Mm -hmm. um, what would keep me from buying that is is the is the fact that it does share the frame with those other bikes. You know, it's not it's not necessarily different. Um, and then the comfort aspect of it. So I don't like I don't like the Chieftain for that fact because it's so it's so compact. I'm used to being stretched out. Mm -hmm. When I was on a sport bike, I had a stretched out sport bike. So for me, that's what's comfortable. And riding on these, I mean, it being so short, it's not comfortable. So, you know, like he's saying, it just it just depends on what you're used to and and, mm -hmm. and how you view Because actually, I grew up around Harleys. Like, that's all people rode where I was at because that's all they sold. And that's still the way it is in Wichita Falls, Texas. So all you can get is a Harley. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And the closest dealer is in Austin, which is like 500 miles away. So for me, seeing these, I got tired of it. I was like, it's the same, mm -hmm. it's the same, and I'm tired of looking at the same, mm -hmm. and I wanted something different. So that just like you're talking, like if somebody's used to it, that's what they're gonna gravitate to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of us are a little bit different where you get tired of seeing it, you wanna do something different. So that's kind of where I'm coming at. That's why I say they're not necessarily marketing towards someone like myself. Mm -hmm. Just like Indian motorcycles not marketing towards someone like I don't have a problem with any. Well I no, I'm just saying you, yeah. you, generally those type of people right, and right. If we're talking generally. They're not marketing at all. And I talked to you about this. How much do you think there's most many people didn't hear that this was coming out? Oh, everybody. Right? Yeah. The Nobody knew thing anything about this. He told me about it. And I said to him, I don't understand this. They're only making 150 of these. This is the top, the creme de la creme for Indian. Where's the marketing? There, he was like, well, you know, you got to be a part of certain forums. What kind of shit? No, no, no. So there was, there was marketing. Most of it was internet. Like, uh. Instagram, Facebook, those it's types poor of marketing. I if I it. didn't hear about it, it's poor marketing. I hear what you're saying, but uh, it, I, that's that's what it is. And I think when you're when we're talking about marketing and the algorithms and all of that stuff, that's the downside of some of those algorithms because you're not getting exposed to those types of marketing because that's just not what you're into in your day to day surfing. No, no, no. This is not even the algorithm. Indian Motorcycle can pay for advertisement and put it wherever they want. Well, I mean, I don't they know. Just they just ain't going to do it. I don't, I don't know what they do. I'm just telling you, because I seen it when it was, when it was, when they were uh, grumbling about it with drafts. There was, uh, there was a couple of articles about it being a pursuit coming out soon. On what? Um, what platform? Motorcycle.com. Um, where else? Uh, uh, that's where I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there were other things out there that had this had all this stuff going and they were like they had like different drawings and mock-ups so it was talked about constantly but you just if you're not exposed to it right. certain, and that's why and, and again just again we're comparing the goliath to a smaller company they're not going to spend the money that holly davidson spends to advertise i mean right. the fact that the commercial that i was in how much money just went into that you ain't seen nothing like that for this nothing they did it for 
when the Chief came out. They did do it when this came out. Where? Where's that commercial? For the Pursuit. They were for this. This motorcycle. For the Pursuit. 2023. Elite. Where's so, the commercial for this? So when they do when they do their releases, they do it by the model. So when the Pursuit came out, mm-hmm. there was this whole huge thing. They When the Challenger came out, there was this huge thing. When the Chief came out, they did the same thing. I didn't, I didn't see anything, if you're talking about specific models within, but for the Pursuit, there was a big push. Yeah, but you don't understand. They only made 150 of these. This is supposed to be a big deal. Yeah. Why would they not push this? Do commercials. There was commercials. Where? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we're on TV. Not enough, man. Yeah, I don't know not enough, man. I've never seen anything. I haven't TV. seen anything. I, to this day, I haven't Look, seen Look, I don't anything. even watch regular TV and I saw commercials. Yeah, because again, clearly it's something that you're in. The point is, again, again, I know we're dealing with two different budgets. Mm-hmm. When I say commercial, I don't know what kind of... Com- I would love to see one of the commercials you're talking about. It's not It's not going to mm-hmm. compare to the production that Holly Davidson puts into a release right. video. It's just not. It's just, they, they do things on a massive scale. Again, this is another one of those things where it's just... We'll just move on. It's not a. I know you got to come back. I mean, me, I, well, no. I'm just, I was just gonna say it's, it's just a matter of perspective. It's just whatever, whatever, however you think it is. You know, you can see you can see a film that costs twenty bucks and be like, oh, that was amazing. No, no, that's not perspective. The point is, I'm talking about the budget and the effort that they put into. I don't know how much. I don't everything, know much but in this in this case, yeah. just this, just this. So even. The Indian thing that you said you went to, Indian, there was some kind of rally. The Indian motorcycle. With the hundred bikes out there. Yeah, hundreds of bikes. The, the Indian motorcycle wasn't even a part of. It was just a group of people that put it together. We all ride Indians, let's get together. What? Indian motorcycle? Oh, you're, 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 you're talking about that one. That's something different. Mm-hmm. So the the tennis, the Jack Daniels event, is uh, which is the shirt I'm wearing, mm-hmm. is the Jack Daniels Indian motorcycle. That's an actual event. There are events outside of Indian Motorcycle that happens yeah. because that's what they do. Right. Um, and Harley does the same thing. So it's not like anything different. It's just, it was just an event that they didn't sponsor. Okay. It's just like if you put on an event, yeah. Harley's not going to come in and be like, oh, hey, since you're doing your global ride, we're mm-hmm. going to come in there and provide yeah. X, Y, and Z. That's, that's not a thing. That's, that's the Actually, I could make a phone call and get some, some stuff. You probably could. But th- those people that do that event, they didn't want, they don't want that. So. I don't want that. Okay. Yeah. But um, Sturgis, Indian motorcycle. What does that mean? Sturgis. Yeah, what does that mean? They started Sturgis. That was an Indian motorcycle thing. And now Holly took it over. Yeah, they took it over. They're there. They well, took it over, man. Mm. I mean, if you... Indian started Sturgis? Correct. It was a group of Indian motorcycle riders that went to Sturgis. Uh, fact check him, man. Fact check him. Right, I'm going to have so to fact to check that. I think, he, I think he knows. He did research. Yeah, I did my research. They went to Sturgis, fact and they would do right. stunts, tricks, flat track racing, all of these things, and they would come every year. So it was one of the local manufacturers <clears throat> in the area that did it, or one of the local dealers, I'm sorry. Hmm. It was Pappy something or another, <clears throat> I think it was his name. <coughs> he had an old-timey name. Hmm. I can't remember what it was. Old-timey. So, yeah, that was started by Indian Motorcycle Group. And now you get hundreds of Indians that show up there. Yeah. Oh, you get, if you go to Daytona. Hundreds weekend, of Indians. Yeah. Um, bike week in March. March? April? Whatever. Yeah. yeah. It's a bunch of di- different people out there. Indian has their spot. Mm-hmm. They sure do. It's, just, it's like that. Holly is this table. It's just, it's, it's two different worlds. Yeah. It's just two different worlds. But to have a company, okay, if we're talking about size, if you're having a company this small mm-hmm. that's shaking up things... For a company that this large, mm-hmm. there, there's, you have, you know, credits where credit is due. I think they're doing a great job. Are they bigger than I Harley? Do too. Are they bigger than Harley? Of course not. I obviously. Do they have more aftermarket? No. Are they, are they good bikes? Yes. Mm-hmm. Are they good bikes? Yes. They're both good bikes. And you just like you're saying, you have more options. We have more options now. And if, if it wasn't for this bike right here, this bike would not exist. Oh, negative. Or negative. They were not that. upgrading this. Negative. They if it, were not, for, if it no. wasn't for this bike, none of this would exist. No. Do you think this, this whole fixed fairing thing came from? Yeah, they they, the they were not the first <laughs> to do the fixed fairing. Who was? I don't know who it was. <laughs> it wasn't Harley. It wasn't but it Indian. Wasn't Indian. It wasn't Indian either. Well, That's my point. They weren't the. You guys weren't the first one with that screen. BMW was. If if what I'm telling you, if Indian if Indian did not have. Well, competition is always good. good. Yeah, right. always. If Indian Motorcycle mm-hmm. was not the competitor that they are, mm-hmm. this bike would not be here because Harley Davidson, for the longest, has pieced out itty bitty changes for you guys, 
and to do something at this scale is a response to this bike that BMW R18 mm -hmm. and all of those other manufacturers that are coming up putting pressure on Harley it's a response to, a bunch to, of, keep, yeah. to keep you guys in the family. That's what that is. So that's it. tough. Yeah. It's I tough. Like and it. I say that because now again, what really inspired this bike is a bunch of different complaints, but also a new CEO. So one of the things that he said at that panel that we went to was, um, cause I said this, I was in the museum. I was looking at a 1977 road King. And from the front, <laughs> I couldn't tell you if it was a 77, exactly. 87, 97, tw nothing changed. Right. But from a business perspective, why would they? People keep buying it. Right. But the CEO said, as much as we want to keep things traditional, we have to evolve. Yeah. So he said, three years went into designing this motorcycle, but trying to still keep it <clears throat> Harley Davidson, yeah. whatever the hell that means. Right. Um, so... I definitely appreciate the changes. Yeah. And of course, and I feel like Indian riders, what they do by saying, oh, you stole this from us. Yeah, it's diminishing. It's, it, it, yeah. Yeah, it's like, they, I say all the time to people, you don't have to go back and forth with an Indian right. motorcycle rider because the king doesn't have to keep saying I'm the king. Right, right. Right. So it doesn't make sense to keep having this conversation knowing that at the <clears> end <throat> of it, you're still going to be here because even if they say everything's better, it's going to come back to... Who's the best right now? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'm not, not saying the best. that I'm not Who's saying that them? they took anything from whatever. But if 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 we're being of course they did. If we're if, no, well, if we're being completely objective, mm -hmm. the USDs, KYB, uh, who, KYB, who, who, the what? He's yeah. talking about the inverted oh. force. KYB, KYB, mm -hmm. the screen, you know, the, the the ride modes, all of those things. Mm -hmm. If we're just putting these in a vacuum, these bikes already had it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, if we're modifying motorcycles to a point, there's going to be a point where even if even if they never seen each other, there's going to be similarities. Of course, because it's you can only you can do right. You can only go so far. These bikes look nothing alike. They don't. No, they don't. There's they don't. Zero in common. This is there are, there are this things is, in common. This is this is Apple and Android. I say this all the time. Right. Apple will come out right. with something that Android doesn't have, and then the next year they'll do it. You know, right. the whole the whole being able to scroll on your screen. Was started by Apple. Then Android got it. We're not going to say, "Oh, this is bullcrap. You stole from us." Right. You know, it but, is what but it that's is. what I'm saying. I never said anything about the fairing, you know, fixed fairing, and who stole who, who did what. I don't think they look alike at all. No, neither do either, I. either the old ones or the new ones. The old ones are hideous. Um, oh no. And <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 and you talking about options? I just really like the way that Indian motor motorcycle one separates their models to the way they price their models and and for me like i was saying just like you the experience with the company has been man oh, what do you like, mean separates their models <clears throat> what does that mean so the the challenger the challenge there's a challenger platform mm -hmm. you know it's a different frame it's just a different bike yeah right? it is it's not the same bike the Challenger platform. So the Challenger and the Pursuit, they share the same frame. Oh, okay. okay. The Chieftain. The Chieftain has its own frame, but they share that with the models that are the Chieftain. The Chief has its own frame. The Scout, its own frame. Well, that's a so, smaller bike, right? Yeah, it is a smaller bike. Yeah. Yeah. So, but that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> Within their models, they don't they don't share as much. Mm -hmm. You know, as to this. Now, don't get me wrong. The frame on the frame on these, they've been using for years. It's maneuverable. You know, you're not going to outturn one of these, you know, whatever the case. But the, they're just, it's the same thing over and over. So what am I really paying for? So we're talking about models because at the end of the day, <clears throat> this shares the same frame as a Challenger. Right. Right? So the only issue is they only have two. If they had eight, they'd all have the same frame. I see, I, I see that as a downside. I mean, if, if this, so the, so the, the back wing pairing Indian, what's that called? The Chieftain? Chieftain. So you're saying the Chieftain is on a different frame than this bike? Yeah, right. it is. This that makes really no different. sense. Because it, 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 they're both touring bikes. This one is fixed frame or fixed bearing. One is, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, back wing or whatever. Right. Why would you have two different frames? That, that makes no sense because for they, bikes that are, other than the fairings, should be the same. They, they serve. Because every company does scale. Right. So you can look at any car company, any whatever. I mean, they, they share platforms for something that's similar now 
on their the, the bobber bike, a little scout or whatever you call it, obviously that wouldn't be the same frame as this. It's a significantly smaller bike. Right. But to have two touring bikes, just one fixed frame or fixed bearing, the other one attached to the handlebars, that doesn't make sense. Right. If because, different. because, because right. I mean, so, all you're doing is adding cost and, and little value. What, whatever whatever <coughs> cost the company has, I have no idea. I don't know. What I know for me, yeah. the, the Chieftain is too small. I don't like that. The, the bike is just too small. And then you put another person on there, whether it's the Chieftain or the Roadmaster, whatever the case may be, the bike is just too small. I need something mm. larger. I wanted something larger. I wanted a touring bike. So to have this as an option, as a larger bike versus the same size bike with just different accoutrements, it, it, it gives me that option. And I would, I would take that option over just having one way. You know what I'm saying? Like if, not to say that it's not a good touring bike or whatever the case is. I'm, I'm just saying that it's sharing the frame because it's just like GMC and Chevy. Yeah. GMC, but, but GMC costs more. Than the Chevy's cost, but it's the same vehicle. It's the same vehicle, right? Yeah. But that, but that one model carries more weight, so to speak. So the road glides or the street glides, depending on whichever one you like, that's going to carry more weight simply because it is what it is. There's no differentiation other than this fairing. Well, so the fairing the is a big me, thing. What's to keep me buying the road glide CBO? I'm gonna tell you the difference. Clearly, it's a difference. It's aesthetics. One's going to appeal to one person more than the other. Right. The Batwing people and people like me that now this has flipped me that I actually like the way this looks. Mm -hmm. I think the real answer to why the Challenger and the Pursuit are on a different frame is this is their 2023 CVO. This was, we're going to get away from the old, which was really stuff that looks like a Harley, mm -hmm. and do something different. That's what they did, but they only made two of them. So again, if they decided to make four of them, it'd be four motorcycles four, four on the same frame. What do you mean four of them? Four different models. Four different the models. Yeah. Right now, they got the suit frame. and challenger. That's <clears> it. <throat> so that's why they share the well, same frame. But if they sense. made five of them, it'd be five motorcycles on the same frame. They're not going to make a different frame for every motorcycle. No, 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 no. There's different. There's different models within those two, though. What do you mean? That's what you mean. So you got the challenger, the challenger limited, the challenger dark horse. Same frame though. Right, right, right. Yeah, but that's, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. You but you said they were talking about you said a bunch of motorcycles with the same frame. This is different from a chieftain. Correct. Yeah, and it's different because the chieftain is an older model. A chieftain, I can put a jack under it and just jack it up right. because it's got a conventional frame so, like this. So oh, it does? So, yeah. so really? I had a chieftain. So yeah. I, no See, that, that's what I'm saying. That doesn't make sense. I mean, if if from a manufacturing standpoint, this you want commonality. Thing, I well, I mean, if this could be their future, that's fine. But then the chief, chieftain should share the same frame. Maybe it will. You so, know, so if they're I, not doing that, I don't, they so need the, to hire me as their CEO. Because number one, I'll uh -oh. fix the heat problem. <laughs> number two, I would lower your manufacturing costs. Because if you have a common bike, you should have a common frame. It just doesn't make it's sense. Not, it's not. They're not. They're two different bikes. But it's a touring bike. No, 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 no. A, but that's what I'm saying. Right? It's two different bikes. If, if, if That's the problem. That's what if, I'm saying. That's the problem. If the bikes were the same... They wouldn't be different. They wouldn't be special, right? There's nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if I have a chieftain, the chieftain is going to be able to do exactly what I can do on this. So why spend the extra money Apparently. when I could just get the chieftain? No, fairing's different. This is going to be more comfortable. Correct. So but maybe I'm, this one is for long, people that want to travel longer, maybe. Right. Mm -hmm. but, that's, but that's what I'm saying. I, I think they're limiting themselves by sharing the same frame as opposed to having a specialized frame for a specialized bike. If it's the road glide, because like I said, I think this fairing is too big for this frame. It's, it, this fairing, the size of this fairing, it seems like it, it, it would be a massive bike. That's Again. a stretch, bro. This yeah. thing looks like an enormous box. It's not. This, this, that's, but, this is smaller. But he's going to say, even if it is the same size, ruler. the rest of the bike is longer. <laughs> so it, yeah. in his eyes, it looks, you know... So again, he, he said this one, or these bikes, you feel like they're too small. You, you feel like, you know... When you get on my Limited, do you feel like that? No, because the seat is an extended reach seat. So in other in other words, there's always changes you can make to these bikes to make it feel a certain a different way. Mm -hmm. That seat, I, I agree, it's too close. Well, if we're if we're Ooh. talking if we're just talking stock though, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. If we, I mean anybody can personalize a bike to make it fit any situation. No, no, that's not really true because you're limited here, and that's what we talked about earlier. You can buy this and make way more changes. Than you can with this. Well, well if we're talking, but we're, maybe not this. No, if we're, talk, if, we're <laughs> yeah. if we're talking about size, though, you can get extended re extended reach seat. You can change your. You don't bars. need it. 
No, I'm just saying, <laughs> but you can. You can get the extender reach seat. You can mm-hmm. change your bars. Mm-hmm. So that's to me, that's kind of a wash. No, if you can just... get the extender reach seat, or I can get a selection of different extended reach seats. Yeah, I can go through Saddleman, a Corbin, Indian, or whoever else I want to go through for a seat. They all make seats. What I'm saying is, though, if we're just talking about it, just the way the bike sits and what the function is for, mm-hmm. this is going to be more comfortable on the road than I would be on a Chieftain oh, for me. Okay. Right? And if you're telling me that it's the same bike just with a different front end, and that's what makes it different, in my opinion, that, that's, that doesn't make it different. That just You just added a component that this one doesn't have. So to me, and I don't care about the manufacturing <coughs> cost or whatever the case, because yeah, <laughs> all I care about is what I'm spending out of my pocket. And what I'm spending out of my pocket is different. Than, and it's going to be in a different experience overall as somebody on a Chieftain. Whereas with these, it's the same experience. No, it's not. They ride differently. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they ride differently. I haven't been on the road glide. Yeah. I've only been on the street glide. Yeah, no, they ride differently. But I've been on a road glide and the street glide of the old models, and they felt exactly the same. I'll tell you.